Hello everyone, today I am going to make parametric family of restaurant tables in Revit. In this video, I am going to use two methods. In one method, I am going to use array technique and in the other one, I am going to make the family without the array command. But before we start, let me remind you to like, share and subscribe my videos Do and do leave a comment below. And also watch my other videos as well. In method 1, I will be using array command to make the family of restaurant table. Open new furniture template file in Revit. Go to front elevation, select extrusion and draw an elevation of stand as shown in the video. You can make any shape you want. I'm going to make it simple. Now in the front elevation place a reference plane at this point I am going to name it table top. Go to plan select extrusion set the reference plane to table top and draw a rectangle as shown in the video. Now place dimensions make it equal can place another dimension and place a dimension towards this side as well. Assign parameters to both these dimensions. I am going to name them width and length respectively. Now go to parameters dialog box and change the dimensions. I am going to make it 2 feet 6 inches by 5 feet. As I have made this stand at this, at this reference plane of center, so it cannot be moved otherwise. So I am going to disjoin it and place it somewhere else. Now assign a dimension here. Assign a parameter to it. I am going to name it distance from table to stand. In the parameters dialog box, change its value to 6 inches. Now select the stand, click on array command, select last here and then move this stand to this point. Place a dimension towards this side as well. Assign this dimension the parameter of distance from table to stand. Now select this stand and click on this line that appears here. Click on add parameter and I am going to name it stands array. Now go to parameters dialog box and add a formula in stands array. Which is length divided by 2 feet 3 inches. Now if I change the length of the table, the array will automatically change its dimensions and change its numbers. For example, if I am going to change the length to 10 feet, it will automatically have 4 stands. Now I am going to load the family of chair which I have downloaded from the rabbitcity.com and then I'm going to place one on this side and the other one on this side. You can change the uh, position of this chair with the help of space command, space bar. Now place a reference plane, one at this point and the other one at this point. Place the dimensions as shown in the video, the dimension should be equal. Assign parameter to this dimension, I'm going to name it mid. Go to parameters dialog box and add a formula in mid which is width minus 1 feet. I 
align this chair with this reference plane and lock it down repeat this process on the right side as well place a dimension at this point and assign a parameter to it I am going to name it offset I forgot one thing open parameters dialog box add a new parameter which is chair width under the table now add a value to it for example one feet and change the formula of mid which is width minus chair width under the table it is because you can control the position of chair under the table now change the value of offset to 2 inches add the parameter of offset to this side as well now select this chair click on array command make sure last is selected and then place the chair at here place the parameter of offset at this side as well repeat this process on the right side of the table as well click on this chair then click on this line and add a new parameter I am going to name it chairs array add the parameter of chairs array to this array as well now open properties dialog box and add a formula in chairs array which is length divided by 2 feet now if you change the dimension of length the number of chairs will also adjust according to the formula for example if I am going to change the height to 5 feet then it will have 3 chairs on each side if I change the length to 2 feet then the chairs and stands array will have one value which is not possible because the array can never be less than 2 it should always be it should always be equal to 2 or more than 2 it, but it can never be 0 or 1 so because of this issue you have to make the family of restaurant table for 2 separately now align all the chairs with this reference line one by one also repeat this process on the right side now if you will change the dimension of chair width under the table all of the chairs will change their positions and move accordingly There is one more thing to do one by one select these parameters select these dimensions and instead of type check instance in the parameter properties the instance will make each of the family unique so that you can change the dimension separately
in the second method i will show you guys how to make the parametric table of two and four people without using the array command so open new family template file of furniture go to front elevation select extrusion and draw the elevation for the stand by default the uh, reference plane is set to center keep the extrusion at to 1 inches and extrusion start at minus 1 inches this means that it should be extruded 1 inches behind the reference plane and 1 inches in front of the reference plane. I have done this to keep the center of the stand locked to the center of the reference plane. Now again go to front elevation and place a reference plane at this point and name it tabletop. Go to plan, select extrusion, set the reference plane to tabletop and draw a rectangle as shown in the video. Place the dimensions as shown. The dimensions should be equal. Name these dimensions as width and length respectively. In the parameters dialog box, change the values of length and width whatever value you add in here the center of this table will remain at the center of the reference plane now place two horizontal and two vertical reference planes in the plan mode as shown in the video place dimensions of equal distance for these reference planes Assign parameters to these dimensions. I'm going to name them H and V respectively. In the properties dialog box, add a new parameter which is chair width under the table. Add a value of 6 inches to it and then place a formula in H which is width minus chair width under the table and then add a formula in length as well sorry in V as well which is length minus chair width under the table. These formulas will control the placement of chairs. Load the family of chair and place four chairs at four sides of the table. You can control the movement of chair with the help of spacebar on the keyboard. Align this chair with this reference plane and then lock it down. 
activate this process of aligning for all of the other chairs as well. Align these chairs with the central reference planes as well and lock it down. Select this chair, then in the visible properties box, add a new parameter and name it chair. Click OK. Repeat this process on the other chair as well. Go to properties dialog box and add a formula here. The formula is if length is less than Two feet six inches then one should be greater than two otherwise two should be greater than one with one is means no and two means yes make this parameter as instance make the parameter of age V length and width as instance as well Now load this family file into the project to check to see if it is working correctly. You can see that when the length is 2 feet only 2 chairs are visible. And when the length is 2 feet 6 inches, 4 chairs are visible. You can control the position of chairs from this parameter for example if you add the value of 8 inches all of the chairs will move slightly that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any queries feel free to ask do leave a comment below i will meet you guys in the next tutorial till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe and also do watch my other videos as well